But looking at what is happening right now in the short term, uh, this is definitely very, very, very interesting. We came all the way down here to retest, you know, nine hundred billion dollars. You can see we were able to find some support right here, uh, bounce off nine hundred billion dollars, and right now, you know, we are approaching short-term potential resistance. So looking at the total market cap, you know, a level to keep your eyes on is going to be, you know, just above uh, one trillion dollars. So right up here, guys. And if we can take out, you know, this local resistance, then your next target is going to be all the way up here, uh, one point zero seven. And if we can take out one point zero seven. Your next target is going to be all the way up here, guys, to around $1.11 trillion. And if we can take out, you know, $1.11 trillion, then your next price target, it is going to be retesting our recent high around $1.18 trillion. So these are going to be your short term potential price targets. Now, things are definitely going to get very, very interesting. And I am going to talk about the reason why, you know, things could potentially get very, very interesting in the next couple of weeks if we see a continuation of, you know, this uptrend. So looking at the total market cap right now, guys, you can see exactly what we just did on the daily time frame, uh, using the Bollinger Bands, uh, we just took out this level right here, so this orange line, and we have right now, you know, once again, since since mid August, since mid August right here, guys, you can see that we have, you know, once again broke into bullish territory. So this is, you know, very very bullish in the short term. And as long as we stay above this orange line right here, you are going to see a nice continuation of, you know, this uptrend. The reason why I think that the next couple days or the next couple weeks will absolutely be, you know, very interesting. If we can stay above this orange line, so if we can stay above, you know, 900 and, you know, 70 billion dollars. If we can stay above 970 billion dollars and we see a continuation to the upside you want to keep your eyes on our recent top right here uh 1.18 trillion dollars and if we can take out 1.18 trillion dollars we do have a very very high probability of retesting this level right here so I am talking about $1.3 trillion. If you guys remember when the market was rallying right here, uh, $1.3 trillion is a huge level that we talked about, you know, so many times during this bear market rally. And recently when we got rejected right here, a $1.18 trillion and started to pull back, you know, we started to speculate that we were more likely, you know, going to see a retest down right here, guys, around $770 billion, which are, you know, the lows from June, and which also is the 2017 all-time high. So this is interesting now, and the reason why this is, you know, very, very interesting is because, and you should actually be very, very excited, is because for the first time, if we can take out, you know, 118, for the first time in a very, very long time, this will be something, you know, to really talk about. And this could potentially be the reversal that we have you know, talked about so many times on this channel. You know, if we want to see a reversal, 
if we want to talk about a potential you know bottom uh something like this is exactly what you want to see uh these pullbacks you don't want them to take out these lows right here so if we can hold this level and break above 118 trillion dollars you know for the first time guys you have higher highs and higher lows and if we can take out 118 basically you know we put in new highs and if the price can push all the way up you know if the total market cap can push all the way up here to around 1.3 trillion dollars there's a probability we get rejected right here but even if we do get rejected this is actually very very healthy you know for the market but if we do get a pullback you want these levels right here you know the previous highs you want these levels right here to hold as a support so once again we just have to be a little bit more cautious and see how the next couple of days are going to play out but if you have been you know bullish on uh bitcoin and the cryptocurrency market and if you have been you know speculating that this could pretend, that this is the bottom right here you know if you have been spe uh, speculating that this is the bottom then we absolutely need to see something like this you know for us to confirm a trend reversal but for the first time you know in this bear market For the first time in this bear market, we are, you know, reversing this downtrend. Uh, you can see since, you know, $3 trillion, you know, all we have seen is a series of, you know, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs. Uh, this one particular time right here, guys, down here is where you know we had this pullback and we were not able to take out these lows right here but as you can see all right we failed to break above these levels right here you know we failed to put in you know new highs and ultimately you see exactly what played out right after that so if we want to be bullish on this market we absolutely have to avoid you know something like this playing out again uh if if we can avoid something like this you know this is going to be extremely uh bullish for uh this market now i personally still believe that we have not seen the bottom of this bear market you know i still think that we are going to go lower and again this to me was unexpected uh, it is happening right now and we have to respect it and we have to talk about you know potential price targets so this is the level that i would definitely keep my eyes on you know 1.18 trillion dollars and if we can take out 1.18 trillion dollars the next target i want to see is 1.3 trillion dollars now something very very similar to this can absolutely you know still play out we could potentially push all the way up to 118 and maybe push all the way up to 120 get rejected in this range right here and then drop all the way down just like we did right here guys so the probabilities of a huge uh of a huge drop uh, very very similar to this one right here as uh, uh, i believe is still out there you know i don't think you know this is the end of this bear market this is an unexpected you know unexpected you know bear market rally uh, i thought this was you know basically uh the beginning of a bigger move that was going to bring us all the way down in this range and you know take us down to new lows but unfortunately guys you know you can analyze the market all you want but it is never a hundred percent certainty and right now you can see the market decides to turn around and it looks like 
we are going to push higher. When you look at your daily MACD right here, uh, we are currently getting a buy signal, which of course is you know very bullish, uh, indicating that this is more likely to you know continue. And if we go down and we look at the four hour time frame, the four hour time frame is actually looking very very good right now. But we are you know in overbought territory on the four hour, so it absolutely wouldn't be a surprise. You know to get a short-term pullback uh retest these levels right here around you know 922 billion dollars but as long as we stay above these levels on the lower time frame we are most likely going to see a continuation of this uptrend so let me know in the comment section you know your thoughts on this market uh what is playing out right now do you think this is something that is going to be sustainable or do you think this is just you know another short-term pump and a pullback you know should be coming very very soon